Welcome back everyone, and today we're making a bee attack slash alarm pheromone. This chemical right here makes bees extremely aggressive, and it's commonly found as an artificial flavor in many candies. So eating certain candies can quite literally cause bees to sting you. And this is artificial banana. And you'll know exactly what this smells like if you ever had at the mall, you know those little banana candies, the hard ones, the little yellow bananas? They use this exact compound in there. So quite literally simply eating those could cause bees to want to sting you. So today we're gonna test it on some bees and see how pissed off they get. Let's go ahead and get to the chemistry first and make some of this. So first to this graduated cylinder, I'm gonna start off by adding 50 milliliters of glacial acetic acid. Um, the glacial part just means pretty much pure acetic acid. And now I'm just gonna add this to our 250 milliliter round bottom flask we got here. And now I'm going to add 40 milliliters of isoamyl alcohol. And yes, it's the same isoamyl alcohol we use to make our scent of smelly feet. And uh, yeah, isn't that funny? Isoamyl alcohol when oxidized smells like stinky feet, uh, but when it's an ester with acetic acid, man, it smells like bananas. It's funny how that works. So okay, so now I'm gonna pour out 40 milliliters of this. Like before, I'm gonna add our 40 milliliters of ice animal alcohol into our 250 milliliter flask. Now I'm going to pour out 10 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid, and this will be our catalyst for our esterification reaction. And again, just like all the other times, we're gonna go ahead and add it to our round bottom flask. Okay, now I'm going to add a condenser on top of this. And now I'm going to add this gas adapter on top. Just like that, that's all we need. Actually, I gotta add some water here so we can cool our condenser. Okay, so now I got water flowing through. I got gentle heating on. And now we're just gonna have to let this reflux. And as it refluxes, it will form our isoamyl acetate. And uh, yeah, that will be our bee attack pheromone and it'll also be a uh, banana oil and it'll smell like bananas okay we got our stir bar going beautiful and now we're just going to let this reflux for about an hour okay we're about 20 minutes in and we're finally starting to get a reflux so we got about 40 more minutes to wait until our banana oil aka ice animal acetate is fully done okay it's now been an hour a very lonely cold boring hour <laughs> Um, but it's finally done and uh, um, and now we just gotta wait for this to cool down to room temperature and then we can proceed with our workup. Oh yeah, I just caught a whiff of it. Oh my God, that is, <laughs> yes, that is banana. Holy, yeah, that's very banana, very banana. <laughs> it smells amazing though. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour everything into this 250 milliliter set funnel. Okay, now I'm gonna add 50 milliliters of distilled water to this. And the water should not be missable. Now we just gotta take and stir, make sure to vent. I'm not stir, shake. Shake, 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 shake. So you get good extractions. Let's go ahead and pour off the aqueous layer. Okay, again, like before, we're gonna do another wash with 50 milliliters of water. And mainly these water washings are just to get rid of things like sulfuric acid, some of the acetic acid and things like that. So let's pour off our water layer. Okay, now I need to make a bicarbonate solution. We're going to wash with bicarbonate. Here. Okay, we're in. We're in. Yeah, it's a 55 pound bag of baking soda. You never know when you gotta neutralize acids, you know? And a lot of them. Okay, that's way too much baking soda. Okay. We only need like a 5% solution. What do you think? You think that's 5%? Yeah, I call that 5%. Let me walk over to the sink. I should have used distilled water, whatever. It's too late. And then we'll take this over. And bring it right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just pour some of our baking soda solution in here. Okay, as you can see, there's definitely still some acetic and sulfuric acid because, yeah, that's uh, neutralizing it pretty good. I don't know if you can see in there, there's some kind of met. Yeah, let's just, let's just ignore that. Um, let's go ahead and dump off our water layer. And just like so, we're uh, almost done with our workup. So there is our crude banana oil. Okay, now using the same flask as before, pretty fitting. We'll go ahead and dump all of our banana oil into there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set up for a simple distillation. 
Okay, and we got one more thing to add, and that is our thermocouple. Okay, so now we're gonna do is just let this distill. So we're gonna collect over our first fraction, um, which we'll discard. And then the fraction we're going to keep is gonna be um, from 135C to about 142C. Okay, well, whatever this is at 102.3, we're actually getting consistent uh, drops over here. So we are collecting something, I guess probably water. Okay, my thermometer's absolutely tweaking, but we're pretty much getting right at the range of banana oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip out the flasks. And now we'll let that distill over. Okay, I went ahead and stopped the distillation. I'm not getting anything more over. Um, just have some, okay, I'm taking this off the tripod. Screw the tripod, screw it. So there is the tarry crap that's left behind. And there is all of our isoamyl acetate, our B attack pheromones slash banana oil slash flavoring slash everything and uh yeah there it is a thick kind of oily type liquid and we cut quite a bit of it so we'll see how good this works as an attack pheromone so uh stay tuned because it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun so here's our bee attack pheromone and here is a bunch of bees they love the pool cover because i guess they like to drink the water and yeah ignore the pool cover our landlord has an iq of a brick but anyway so um Let's uh, go ahead and see how these bees behave to our alarm slash attack pheromone. So I've engineered this great device, um, a broomstick with a um, paper towel to add in. Let's go ahead and add a small amount of our isoamyl acetate, aka our alarm pheromone to our paper towel. Okay, it's on there and I can smell it. <laughs> Hopefully they don't start attacking me. Anyway, let's go and see how they uh, behave to it. Okay, I can really smell it, so let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna set it right by them. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh. They are not happy. Holy crap, they are not happy. They are swarming it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I would say that that worked okay they seem to be it's hard to see on camera but they're definitely interested in it uh, it's in the water so i think it's absorbing some of the water but yeah oh yeah that's pissed them off so fast that pissed them off so fast just look how angry they are it's kind of hard to see but they are just swarming they are definitely not happy. Man, that is actually insane how well that worked. They are pissed. Also, since all good science experiment has a control, here is um, the next day where there is no more attack pheromone. And look, I'm literally touching them with it. Oh, and they don't really even care. So that's how much of a difference it makes. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. You saw how pissed those bees got, so this compound works wonders on getting them angry. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.